First of all, what is SAR? The cell phone's radiation level is measured in terms of specific absorption rate or SAR. SAR is a measure of the rate at which energy is absorbed by the body when exposed to a radio frequency field such as when using the cell phone. It is defined as the power absorbed per mass of tissue, and has units of watts per kilogram. SAR is usually averaged either over the whole body, or over a small sample volume, typically 1 gram or 10 grams of tissue. Mobile phones are tested for SAR compliance against head and body. The SAR limit is 1.6 watts per kilogram in countries that set the limit averaged over 1 gram of tissue and 2.0 watts per kilogram in countries that set the limit averaged over 10 grams of tissue. Here are your iPhone's specific absorption rates for various models. So, is your iPhone a safe phone if its ratings are under the SAR limits? Well, it's not quite so simple. SAR does not measure non-thermal radiation. Regardless of its SAR rating, every cell phone emits non-thermal radiation during calls. The current exposure safety standards are mainly based on the thermal effects, which are inadequate. Non-thermal effects are several times more harmful than thermal effects. Non-thermal, which means not produced by heat, effects include damage to the immune system, cellular malfunction, breakage of DNA strands, and other anomalies discovered through numerous studies over the years. The best radiation protection you can have for your iPhone, or any other cell phone, is one that reduces or mitigates the non-thermal effects. To learn more about the best iPhone radiation solutions, go to www.cellphone-health.com/iphone or click the link in the description below.